Rightfully, he cast a set of spells to tell his love he was coming for her alerting her to be ready for him, and released the venom from his wound from an earlier attack, the venom left him, and travelled to his watchmen spying on his whereabouts, and their pores took, delivered mist fully by the wind, and their deaths were most painful, although silent as if they slept. Then the dragon used a debug spell from the future wizard net. All communications were completely confused, and watchmen watching over died. And a slayer nearby, a man who lay close named Mean Steve, a hired conspire who was purely evil, had a brain aneurysm, causing a snap of his death by sheer luck it would seem, but the energies of anger was electrifying in the air, as the dragon was so fierce. Now the dragon, yet it seems, he has no name, it appears he has not been seen by any record, or book of knowledge either, and quickly wrote off by his peers, by lack of willingness to hear of his great strength. Just a dragon, continued, and embraced the journey he loved, his lady he was going to rescue. He swooped toward the lanterns of the watchman, to rescue his love. The dragon pissed off, and angered of the capture of his heart, beyond his control, with fierceness lost control. He doesn't think in this state of mind, because the insanity takes control, causing his actions to unfold, and to his delusions, he doesn't understand anything, as he causes action, he just acts, his roars are deep pains, but to his delight it causes those who trespass much fright, and he loves that. The dragon just believes, it's faith for him to devour, and that it's his universe. So he's named just a dragon and the dragon was often misunderstood, so they never minded the sounds of his pains until it was too late. Not with full understanding as usual, of his full capacity and deeds that he does, all his victories just unfold, his mission had restarted over and over due to changes in other spells, so he knows so much, because he has been there already before, and as the system of his insanity beyond control unfolds, he thinks of what's ahead of him, and that's what's baffling to most, because he's, just a dragon. In the era he grabs the infamous number 7 spell, unbeatable, because he created it through the journey of the system, that's the system that he has lived, that is, having to repeat his conquest to victory due to other spells and magic that so often was offed into the air. The number 7 is so powerful, and it's a spell casted by just his thought, and guided by his creator, who is wizard of faith, a strong wizard that writes for him, all the things that he needs for his endeavors and journeys, and his wizard is sacred and special, indeed blessed, because he's a special one through generation, but he was cast from flames, as to be named good, but despite judgments was troubled to some degree, but indeed good, and he set to create goodness for all. The dragon, just a dragon with anger from the unimaginable, from the forces he faces below, without hesitation attacks and he swiftly kills them with his razor claws, and bit and devoured each of the heads of the evildoers, to keep fueled. Then just a dragon double flipped through the air, boom just a dragon kicked down the gates as he arrived, and he sees her. However, there is a snake threatening her with venom and without fear, he sends venom again by his breath this time, all that was left in his wound not sparing a chance, and the snake was numbed instantaneously, and like a dead weight became limp and fell to his death. He explores and there are many more slaved, and all lay weak and hopeless, because it would take a dragon to save them as they are all chained for market with deep sadness. The dragon busted out a flame of his, that he knew would not penetrate their flesh, just hardness, it's a metal eroding flame that erodes in only seconds, and the slaves were set free and they were overjoyed, they spared not a second as they ran one by one up the dragon's back, and they held tight grasping onto the rough scales of just a dragon. Before long only a brief, but long minutes just a dragon surveyed and took flight high into the air, they were into the air free with sheer happiness, and with rose smiles, despite the long hardness they recently suffered, flying high through the air they were happy and lit by the Roman-like atmosphere. The dragon's love, knew just a dragon, would come, because she sent signs, piece by piece to provide a map over time, by the only power she knew. Just a dragon used a transport hole, not to waste any time despite a rough transfer into the land of just a dragon. He didn't want to spare a second longer to get his lady in his arms, and close to his heart. 
his love, and newly found friends from the shared torture, slavery, and united rescue they danced and sang songs of joy, love and full of life, surreal it must have seemed to them because they hoped not for just a dragon to come. They didn't know of the signs that the dragon's love sent, and her faith to be rescued, because she knew just a dragon, all too well, she knew he would come and never give up on her. Back to safety they all were happy as they sang, home now is the feeling, how warm the hearts so filled with emotion felt, full of delight. In the arms of a dragon, her dragon just a dragon, the beloved lady confidently, smothered her dragon, as she ambushed him with her love, my hero, she told him, grasping him quickly swaying all around him proudly, with love, and laughter and happiness, they tumbled together, and cuddled and giggled amongst each other in harmony, safely together at last without any more spells from the past evil capturers, or anything wicked because every defeat that was possible by the circumstances of fate, were beaten. They knew it was just the beginning to a new life together that would last and they couldn't even mutter words they were just so happy to enjoy each other's presence, my love just a dragon at last she cried, in such sheer joy like she longed for every day, as she hoped while using the only power she could, projecting out symbols into the wind during her only allocated recreation for her forever beloved just a dragon to come for her, together at last they were free to live forever. Both of their spirits were conditions from pain of being enslaved, from one walk as just a dragon, to another's capture to be whored. However, fate settled with both lives synchronizing together as they kissed, and it was so intimate in that moment that to both's perception it was a kiss that lasted an eternity. They made intimate love and drove each other's ecstasy, with mountains of moans, and embracing each other's comforting presence, holding each other closely being entangled in a tight grip being bound together tight they fell asleep, and they shared their love and lived on forever. I'm just a dragon, and you're just a whore. Artwork by Carl Quintiliani Author and Publisher Gabriel Tony Sr. All Rights Reserved